Hi, welcome to another video. So, I really like AI agents, especially the ones that are useful, and today's AI agent is one of them. This one is called Lutra. Lutra is almost a super agent, as I'd like to put it. It works by integrating with almost all kinds of apps natively, almost like tools built into it, and then it can do a ton of stuff with them accordingly. So, it can do web searches, surf through pages, and it can integrate with a ton of applications like Google Docs, Sheets, GitHub, Gmail, Slack, Airtable, and a lot more stuff. This basically makes it aware of context across all your applications, and it can even perform actions like adding notes in Google Docs or rows in Sheets, and much more stuff like that. This is what makes it different and really useful, and better than things like Manus. It connects to all your work apps. It can automate web research, process PDFs, create invoices, respond to emails, generate reports, and update spreadsheets. It is focused on automating your tasks easily with one prompt, and you just chat with it as if it is your super assistant. If you think that it doesn't have some integration, then you can also easily install that integration with the MCP server option. This allows you to basically just install any MCP server that you feel will fit in your workflow and make it even more powerful. You can start using it for free and try it out yourself, just like what I'm going to show you. You can also take up the $30 or $80 subscription for all the best features. So, just come over to Lutra and get yourself signed up, and this is what it will look like. On the left, you have the sidebar where you can see options like chat, which is the main option. You also have the playbook option, which is quite awesome as it allows you to basically make automations that can be run multiple times. So, when you get a result you like in chat, you can save it as a playbook to use again. Playbooks are mini-apps that automate tasks to run manually or on a schedule. I'll show you how it works exactly in a bit. But you also have the Explore option. This shows you a ton of playbooks that you can use and try out for some tasks that most of you may want to do. There's also the Activity tab that will show you all your previous chats and stuff. After that, you have the Tools option. This is one of the things that you will need to set up. It shows you all the integrations that it has, and you can enable any one that you want or disable the ones you don't want. You'll also need to connect it with the applications you enable by clicking the Connect option as well. You can also add MCP Server through here as an integration as well. You can just put in any MCP server side event server, and it will just get that set up. And there are also some more MCP servers that you can add as well. Anyway, these are the main settings that you should be aware of before starting. Now let me show you how the real chat works. So, just head on over to the chat tab, and this is where you'll start a new thread and chat with the agent. Here. You can upload any document or image for it to reference, and you can also upload any spreadsheet or add a Google Sheet as reference and stuff like that. You can also reference a tool and ask it to specifically work on something, which is kind of cool as well. Anyway, let's try to do something with it. I'm going to ask it to find me the best prices of RTX 4090 across multiple online stores. Let's just send it, and you'll see that it will write a bit of code to do the tool calls, and then it will just get onto the search. You can see the searches that it is doing, and the web pages that it is scraping, and then in just a bit, you'll see that it will give you a report here, which is good to understand. You also get the list of prices from each store, and the model name, which is kind of good to use, and stuff like that as well. So, it can do some deep research and stuff like that. But, 
we can now also try to ask it to put this in a Google Sheet. So, let me just ask it, can you make a Google Sheet and record prices, model name, and store name as well? Now, you'll see that it will start the work on it, and it will do some tool calls, and will create a Google Sheet for us. Then, in just a bit, it will put up the information in there, and boom, it's now done. And this looks kind of cool. It did all this in like five minutes and two prompts, which is just awesome if you ask me. This is really amazing for sure. Now, we can even take it further. So, I can ask it to go to all these product pages, read reviews for them, and give me a summary and average rating given by the users, and what are the pros and cons of buying one from the site, and put it in the Google Sheet in a review column. Now, what you'll see is that it will just read through what the links are, and it will go through each of the pages, and it will gather the reviews written in each one of them. In just a bit, we get the stuff made, which is kind of cool for sure. And it does this all fast and super easily, without any manual intervention and stuff like that. You can connect it to anything and make it a supremely powered AI agent that can almost achieve anything for you and use it accordingly, which is kind of awesome. But we can also make playbooks. So, if you are doing something that you do every day or weekly, then you don't need to prompt it exactly the same every time. Instead, you can make playbooks. If we hit this, then you'll see that this will create a plan that will always run the same steps that we did in these steps, but better and more efficiently by removing some repetitive tasks and making this more streamlined. You can then just save it and hit that play button, and it will get the steps done and use it accordingly, which is kind of awesome for sure. It is like an agentic workflow that is basically reproducible and lets you automate repetitive tasks. You can also share it with your team members, and they can use it and use it accordingly without prompting it themselves. They just run the playbook and achieve the task. You can also schedule it to run automatically every week or day or anything like that, and it will just get that done, which is also awesome. So, this is like a whole product research thing for me, that I can run before buying a product, and it will just make me a Google Sheet with prices and reviews, and which one should I buy, which is just awesome. It will do all this in five minutes, whereas this could have easily taken me more than two hours. But it is not just limited to that either, because even if you're a business person, you can use a ton of playbooks that they already have. For example, you have this SEO website audit with a downloadable PDF file playbook that just audits a website for SEO and then gives you a report on it, which is pretty awesome, and literally lets you audit a website easily, which is amazing. You can also use playbooks like this one, which allows you to search for coffee shops in London without websites, which is also kind of awesome for everyday tasks when you need to find something. This is going to be super helpful for a small business owner, people in sales, or website agencies looking to help business owners with their websites. It can basically achieve anything for you in literal seconds, and it all depends on what you want it to do. It is basically an amazing AI agent that is super powered with all the connections and allows you to literally have a super powered AI assistant. You can make playbooks that automate your regular tasks and everything. You can try it out for yourself through the link in the description, and you'll surely get hooked. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.